Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at stats models. Uh, so stats models is a package uh, or a module, okay, that's going to provide a bunch of classes and functions for the estimation of a bunch of different statistical models. Um, also conducting statistical tests, uh, some data exploration. Now there's a bunch of um, high level and very extensive list of uh, statistics uh, that we can actually do and we'll kind of go through a lot of those throughout this series. Uh, so let's go on and maybe do a quick introduction to stats models. Uh, specifically, some of the cool stuff is that it, if those of you that have come from R, it actually uses a bunch of these R style formulas as well as pandas data frames. So let's, let's uh, go on and maybe get started with a basic. So import numpy as np. Let's import uh, pandas as pd. Imp import stats models dot api as sm for stats models and we'll also import stats models dot formula dot api as smf um, and again this is just going to be a quick uh, run through um, otherwise, we'll uh, we'll go into a lot more depth um, as the series kind of progresses. And also, let me maybe zoom in a bit for you guys, so we can can see things a little bit better. And uh, as need be, I will zoom in and zoom out. So let's also create up our data here and do something like sm dot datasets dot get r dataset. So this is this is kind of nice here because you can actually get all of your uh, standard R data set packages. And I'll, I'll go through this data sets um, package uh, probably in another video, maybe even in the next video, uh, talking about how we can actually get some of those uh, 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 standardized uh, uh, R package data sets. Uh, so we'll also grab uh, histdat.data in here as our data. Um, and then we can actually go on and do data and so run this and you can see here, um, let's do the type of data here. You can see that this is a pandas data frame. So then you can also do any of the standard pandas uh, info that you want here. Again, it has all of the data that we have. Uh, so let's go on and um, this here actually just, again, this is just going to uh, grab the data or load data. All right, and then the next thing that we'll do is let's just do a basic um, fit and OLS regression uh, using, uh, we'll use uh, natural log, okay? Um, so we'll do something like uh, results is equal to uh, smf.ols, because again, we're gonna be using the formula. Uh, so lottery. Uh, so this is going to be our Y, okay? Uh, and then this is going to be, uh, we want literacy plus np.log, okay? So np.log is the natural log of uh, pop, and let me do this, uh, dot columns. So we can see the list here. Uh, lottery, literacy, and it's pop 18, 31, uh, 1831. Uh, and then we need to uh, say data set is data dot fit. Okay. Uh, and then we can actually go on and look at the uh, results dot summary here. And you can see what is nice about this is that you don't even have to use a print function, particularly if we are in Jupyter Notebooks. It actually puts us out as a nice HTML table. Um, we can if you want, you can do something like print this, and it does it in this type of standard format if you are um, accustomed to seeing it more in a more of an R style format. But I particularly like um, having this more HTML style format because it's very clean to look at. Uh, so again, you can see here the number of observations, the residuals, and again, we'll go over this in the uh, ordinary least squares um, lecture that we're going to do. But we can also see here, for example, our p-values. Again, everything here is significant. Um, intercept is really big. Uh, literacy has a negative impact on 
uh, lottery. Okay, and again, I'm not sure exactly what the lottery itself is. Uh, and then also negative 31 for the uh, natural log of the population. So again, we'll, we'll talk about each of these um, in turn a little bit later. Let's do maybe one more example just so that we can see how easy this is to use. Um, and in this instance, we'll use uh, NumPy arrays instead of formulas. So here, this is uh, uh, with our style formulas. And so, and then here, this side here is going to be uh, uh, using NumPy arrays. Okay. Um, so we can actually take a look at that. And you know what? Let me put this here. So first off, we'll do uh, number of observations is equal to 100. Uh, X is equal to MP dot random dot random. Uh, we want number of observations by two. Then we want X is equal to SM dot add a constant uh, to X. Um, here we'll have something like a beta is equal to 1.1.5. Uh, uh, we'll also have, let's call this an eta for now, or e. It'll be uh, np.random.random uh, from the number of observations. And we'll have y in here is np. Dot, the dot product of x and beta uh, plus e. e, again, in this instance, would be something like an error. Okay. Uh, and this is. Uh, some coefficient. So let's also go on and run this and let's go on and um, actually run uh, say results 2 in this instance and we'll do something like sm.ols uh, y of x dot fit and then we can also do something like uh, I don't want to print we'll just do res 2 dot summary and run this and we should see something and again remember we are already know what our actual betas are in here so when we're running this and we're doing some sort of prediction or anything we can see here that we have our constants okay uh, we have our errors so this is pretty decent this is decent this one's not good and again we'll, we'll talk about these at when we start talking about OLS but again right now we're just doing a really rough um, kind of uh, idea okay so one more thing that I kind of want to talk about when we look at these um, results objects is we can do something like dir of results and look and you can see here everything that you have that you can actually um, acknowledge and you can grab from each of these and so this is nice uh, so for example each of these like the R squared the adjusted R squared your F statistic your AIC your BIC number of observations um, all of these ideas, even covariance type, non-robust, uh, skew, kurtosis, all of the stuff you can grab. Okay, so here you can see you can grab all of them in here. What's nice is that when you are starting to create up some forms, okay, you can maybe um, use some very cool, um, maybe some Jinja2 uh, type templating, that type of stuff, then you can actually create up your reports very easily to deal with all of the statistics that you would be able to grab from your models. Okay, and we'll probably at the end of the series, uh, we'll definitely start doing that so that you can see how to print up reports and how you can make these automated reports and of themselves using this uh, information. So uh, what we just basically uh, covered today was the basics of, let me go back up here, to uh, stat model, the stat models package, okay, using uh, statistical models, hypothesis tests, and some data exploration. If you guys like this and you want more of this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.